On Monday the 4th of September last week, a 26-year-old man named Kevin McGrath was aboard a Carnival cruise ship in Florida when he mysteriously disappeared. He was last seen at approximately 2am by his brother Andre, however this would be the last time anybody would see the young father of two. After an extensive search was carried out on the cruise ship, Kevin was still nowhere to be found, so his family officially reported him missing to the Miami-Dade police later that day. They then conducted a broader search in the surrounding waters, working together with the Coast Guard, but despite the efforts of everybody involved, there was still no sign of Kevin McGrath. Camera footage was also checked to find out where Kevin went that night, but rather hauntingly, there was absolutely no evidence of the man going overboard, leading many to wonder what really happened to Kevin McGrath, and why have so many young men gone missing on cruise ships in the last few months? Kevin McGrath was born on the 9th of May in 1997 in Florida, where he would later serve in the US military. Described as a family man, Kevin had his first child when he was quite young and went on to become a father of two, all before the age of 26. He has always been described as somebody with the ability to light up a room with his wicked sense of humour, but there isn't much more available information on Kevin's background, so out of respect for his family, I will refrain from making any assumptions. However, one thing we do know for sure is that he had recently boarded a carnival cruise ship with his family to celebrate his father's 60th birthday. By all accounts, everybody who was there was having a good time. That is, until the final night, when Kevin McGrath would mysteriously disappear. On Sunday the 3rd of September, Kevin was spending the evening with his family, making the most of their final night together on the cruise. At the time, they were heading back to Miami after spending the previous two days travelling to the Bahamas, so they wanted to make the most of the little time they had left. But soon enough, everybody started to get tired and eventually decided to return to their respective cabins to sleep for the night. Kevin's brother Andre later confirmed that he spoke to Kevin somewhere on the cruise ship at around 2am, but little did he know that this would be the final time anybody would officially see the 26-year-old man. The next morning, on Monday the 4th of September, the family had all set their alarms early as they had planned to meet at 7am for breakfast, but despite the rather early start, everybody was there, all except for Kevin. This immediately raised concerns as he was usually never somebody to miss a meal. Also, from his military background, waking up at early times of day was something he was very much used to, so when there was still no sign of him after an hour had passed, his family decided to go to his cabin to check on his well-being. At this time, it was just assumed he was feeling sick or maybe just chose to sleep in, which to be fair wasn't too surprising given that Andre confessed to Kevin still being awake at 2am, just five hours before the planned breakfast. However, when they got to his room, they quickly discovered that he was nowhere to be seen, causing panic to arise within the family. Upon this discovery, they started to search the entire cruise ship, hoping to find him somewhere. But after splitting up and covering all bases, they eventually conceded to raising the concern to the cruise ship workers. Now, a carnival cruise ship is about 300 meters long on average, so it is not completely uncommon for people to get lost when exploring the vessel. However, given that this was their final day of the cruise, it was assumed that Kevin would have slightly better knowledge of his surroundings by this point. Nevertheless, the workers tried to calm the McGrath family, explaining that they would check the camera footage to try and locate the missing man. However, after checking the CCTV, they were still unable to spot Kevin anywhere on the ship, around the time he supposedly had been missing. They then checked his room to confirm the last time he used his card key to enter his room, which they soon discovered to be around 3.30am. This meant that after the conversation with his brother Andre, Kevin eventually ended up settling in his room about an hour and a half later. This confused the family as nobody had seen him after 2am, which brought into question why was he walking around the ship all alone in the middle of the night. But despite this major discovery, Kevin's family was still no closer to finding him. The cruise ship eventually docked in Miami that day, but the search continued after it was confirmed that Kevin had not officially disembarked the ship either. This unfortunately meant that there were now only two options left, 
Either Kevin was hiding out somewhere on the cruise ship, or he had abandoned it during the night. So with these two possibilities in mind, the Miami-Dade police got in touch with the local Coast Guard in the hopes that they would find Kevin before it was too late. On Tuesday the 5th of September, boats and helicopters were sent out to search the open waters off the coast of Miami, to see if they could find any evidence of Kevin's whereabouts. This lasted for several days, with police using every resource they could to aid in the search. But despite their efforts, yet again, there was no sign of Kevin. However, this wasn't necessarily bad news for the McGrath family, as the discovery of a body at this point would mean that Kevin was likely no longer with them. So they were determined to keep searching the ship, in the hopes he had fallen down a shaft or gotten himself stuck somewhere, and was awaiting rescue. This was a plausible theory, as the ship was very large with lots of areas to potentially get lost, so search teams scoured the vessel for a second time, with hopes of finding the missing man. But once again, their attempts were futile, with Kevin continuing to evade discovery, leading police to confirm he was no longer aboard the ship. However, in a strange twist, a second search of the ship's cameras and security devices did not indicate he went overboard, which brought the case to an abrupt halt. So from the investigation so far, it would seem that Kevin didn't disembark the ship, but contradicting this fact, other evidence also shows that he is most likely no longer aboard the ship. So where is he? Now unfortunately, I cannot answer this question, as this is all we know for now. This is a truly chilling mystery, which I desperately hope has a happy ending. However, with Kevin now being missing for over a week, his safe return is looking seriously doubtful. But with that, let's get into some of the potential theories. Firstly, Kevin's sister Danielle believes he could still be on board the ship somewhere, as she was later quoted as saying, Did he fall somewhere, and he's screaming for help and no one hears him? Did he fall down an elevator shaft? I just don't know. But someone knows something. Someone's seen something. I just want my brother home. Now you would think, given the extensive searches of the ship, that surely Kevin would have been found by now. However, I suppose it is possible he managed to evade detection all this time. But in my opinion, if he has suffered an accident, rendering him unable to move for over a week or call for help, I don't think this story would have a happy ending. Another theory being discussed is that Kevin may have hidden from his family that morning and snuck off the ship as early as possible. A witness did mention that he heard someone at 7 o'clock leaving a cabin nearby, which could have been Kevin, but this statement is yet to be verified. There is also no evidence for why he would do such a thing, but perhaps he wanted to evade detection for a reason. Maybe there were certain expectations he was required to fulfil upon his return, which he wanted to avoid. Now I don't personally believe this, as by all accounts he is a loving family man that would never want to abandon his kids. So to me it's doubtful he would cause all of this trouble for his friends and family just to purposely disappear. But if he didn't intentionally sneak off the cruise ship, why can nobody find him? His father Sean was quoted as saying, Kevin's sea pass card was not scanned during the departure process, and there's just no way he could have left the ship without scanning that card or without having his important documents. Also, the ship has sensors to alert the crew if someone goes overboard, but nothing was ever alerted to the staff that any such event had occurred. So if Kevin didn't disembark the ship and there is no evidence to show he is still on board, what else could have happened to him? Well, a more controversial theory states that Kevin's disappearance was orchestrated by somebody else aboard the cruise line, but who would want to hurt Kevin? As far as I could tell, there was nothing in his profile to suggest any criminal activity or personality defects that may have led to something nefarious. However, I guess it's possible he rubbed someone the wrong way who was on board the ship, and maybe they did something to him as an act of revenge. Again, this is quite a stretch and there is no evidence, but if his family are being honest in saying they felt Kevin wasn't somebody who would ever take his own life, what other option is there? Well, as I'm sure many of you are wondering, a question that remains is how accurate are these sensors which know when somebody falls off the ship? I'm sure the Carnival Cruise Line does use high quality technology, but surely they can't be 100% accurate all of the time. Now, I'm not saying Kevin purposely fell overboard, but I do believe he could have somehow ended up falling into the water, and the sensors just simply didn't pick it up. 
Saying this, I know the Coast Guard was unable to find any evidence of Kevin in the water, but there could be many possible reasons behind that. I won't elaborate out of respect for Kevin and his family, but I think you can probably use your imagination as to what may have caused his body to disappear out in the open water. But regardless of what I think, there are still many possible explanations for this mystery, and in order to get to the bottom of it, we need to continue investigating. Now, just before I end the video, I also wanted to raise some awareness for two similar cases which have occurred in the last two months. Sigmund Ropich, a 19-year-old who was aboard Royal Caribbean's Wonder of the Seas when he bizarrely fell into the waters off the coast of Cuba, and Jalen Hill, who was caught on camera jumping off the side of the Carnival Elation as it was heading toward its final stop in Jacksonville, Florida. Now, these men are also still yet to be found, just like Kevin McGrath, which certainly raises the question of why men keep disappearing from cruise ships as of late. Also, all three of them seemed to disappear just as they were close to arriving at their destination. Of course, this could be nothing more than a coincidence, but it may be something that is worth exploring. So if you would like me to do a deep dive on these cases as well, please let me know. Anyway, with that I think I'll leave this video here, but please leave a comment below detailing your own personal theories about the Kevin McGrath case, as I'd love to try and get to the bottom of this mystery. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel for updates, and check out my previous videos where I've covered some other equally mysterious missing person cases.